All right, guys, before we start the video, I got to give a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, this channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way, uh, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install USB Loader GX with all the proper CIOSs. Uh, covers, game formats, and so on. Um, I've created a pack with all the files that you're going to need. So first, head over to my page, which I'm going to leave in the pinned comment. Scroll down until you find the wallpaper of this video. Go to the link with a download folder. It's going to be a zip folder. You're going to have to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Uh, so here's all the instructions you're going to need if you want to come back to this page. Uh, so now for the uh, download folder. I'll show you what's going to be included. So I'm going to go through all the folders. Uh, so on the apps folder, you're going to have Nintendo USB Loader GX. Uh, this version of USB Loader GX is going to allow you to load from SD or the HD and then Wiimaw Lite. Next folder, controllers. This is going to allow you to use other controllers. For example, like PS3 controllers on the Wii. Uh, you'll have a covers folder. This is where you're going to put all your covers with the title IDs. And I'm going to show you where to get that in a second. Uh, games folder. This is going to be for your GameCube games. Uh, so just create a folder with the uh, name of the game. And then when you go into the game, it has to be... Uh, change the game.iso for every single game or it's not going to read it. Saves folder. And then the WADS folder. Um, you're going to have USB loader GX folder. And then you're also going to have the all CIOS's package. So you're going to need to install this uh, before anything else. Uh, WBFS folder. This is where you're going to put your Wii games. Now for the Wii games, create a folder with the name of the game and then brackets at the end with the title ID. And then when you go into the game, it's just title ID dot WBFS. Every game has got to be in this format. So now for the uh, title IDs and box art, you got to go over to this website, uh, gametdb.com. So find your game. Uh, so for example, Super Mario Bros. Uh, so there's the title ID. And, there's, and then this is the uh, 3D cover. So when you uh, right click, Save image as, it's going to save as the title ID image. And then you just put those images in the covers folder. Um, so that's basically it for the setup of the SD card. Uh, just make sure you format your drive or SD card in FAT32. Or the HD can also be in NTFS. So now we're going to get all the Wii. We are going to install the mods. And I'll show you how to run USB loader. Alright guys. Now uh, for my recommendations for the hardware. Uh, so first we'll start off with the Wii. I recommend the model that's got the uh, GameCube uh, ports up top. 
so you can plug in your uh, GameCube controller and memory card. So this is the, the best model. Uh, when it comes to the SD card, I find the SanDisk uh, models are good. And then when it comes to the HD, I just use the an, an old uh, laptop 2.5 inch uh, hard drive and then with a caddy. So you plug this into the bottom port on the Wii. So that works perfectly. Uh, when it comes to controllers, uh, especially for the GameCube games, I obviously use, um, you can use the GameCube controller. And then you can also use the Wii Pro controller. Uh, there's other controllers that work fine as well. That you can plug into the USB ports. Uh, so now with that out of the way, we're going to get to the software. Uh, start up your system with the SD card inserted. So I'll start it up. Uh, so what I recommend, uh, make sure you have boot me and make sure you have uh, made a backup of your NAND. Uh, you can also back up your NAND using USB Loader GX. I have a video on that as well. And I would also recommend you having preloader. So this is the very first thing you should install. I have a video on this as well. Uh, now, first we're going to install all the wads. So we're going to be using Wii Mod Lite. Uh, since you won't have the channel, I'll just load it through the homebrew channel. Start it up. Now it's going to show all the apps that you have. So here's all your apps. So USB Loader GX, Nintendo, and Wii Mod Lite. So we're going to go into Wii Mod Lite to install the channels. Load. Uh, go down to the WAD Manager, press A, press A on the SD slot, go down to your WADs folder, uh, find the USB Loader GX WAD, press A, and then press A to install. Shouldn't take too long. So there you go, press A to continue. Now you have USB Loader GX on the main menu. Now for the CIOS pack, you go under all CIS package, press A, and then you press 1 to install all of them at once. Uh, so I've already done this. So this is going to save a little bit of time in the video. It's going to take about a minute and a half. So just press 1 and then install all the wads. So now go back. Press home. And then press home again. Exit the system menu. Now you should have the USB Loader GX channel. So there's the channel, USB Loader GX. So let's start it up. Now I'm loading from the SD card. So like I said, you can uh, use the HD or SD on this uh, modified version of USB Loader GX. I already have the covers for the games, but that's the first thing we're going to do is um, your games are going to not have covers um, because it doesn't know wh where the path is. So just go over to settings, go over to the second page, custom paths, and where it says 3D cover path. Press A on it, and then you're going to select this folder, and then go to OK. So path changed, OK. Now when you go back, you should have your uh, covers for the games. Uh, you can also uh, download these manually by pressing 1 on the Wii Remote if your system is able to connect to internet. So you just download all the covers and go to OK. You can do it this way as well. Uh, now, as for the so this should be already set. Go under hard drive settings. 
Uh, so I have the SD card mode on and then mount USB at launch, I have off. Uh, so you're gonna reverse this if you wanna use the HD. So you would have mount USB launch at on and then S card mode off. So it's not initialized because there's nothing plugged into the USB port. So I'm just gonna change it back. So go to on and then off. And then all the other files should be good. Uh, the loader is going to be Nintendo, which is also already set up automatically. Uh, so, so to load a game, first we're going to load the Wii game, see if it, it'll work. Press A, and then start it up. So there you go, it loads right up. This means the... Um, CIOS's were installed correctly. Now go home. Uh, we menu. Yes. Now this should take you back to USB Loader GX. Now we're going to load up a GameCube game. So Super Mario Sunshine. Um, make sure you have your GameCube controller plugged into the uh, port up top or your Wii Pro controller and then go to start. Now this takes um, a few seconds to load because it's got to run through Nintendo first and then through the loader. So there you go. So that loads right up. Um, so that's how you set up uh, USB Loader GX running Wii and GameCube games. Um, I will leave all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.